Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am sorry if there's a glare on my glasses, but I have the blinds open to get a little bit more natural light in here. So if that is a little bit of a bother, just let me know and I'll try to fix things. So sitting here behind me, I, you probably can't tell because it wants to close itself, but I have the Simsathon printout stuff right here in my bullet journal. And so I am doing a Simsathon wrap up. So with the Simsathon, I decided to start on the Create a Sim side. So for Create a Sim, it was to read the first in a series. And for that, I did The Secret of the Old Clock, the Nancy Drew book. It's the first one in the series by Carolyn Keene. This was a reread for me. Um, it has been many, many years since I've read them, though. So I really, I quite enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars. If you haven't heard of Nancy Drew, it is about, I think she's in college. Um, most portrayals show her as like a high school student, but she is in college, I believe, and she is trying to find the will of somebody who used to live in her town because there's so many people who said he was going to save money for me in his will and they never got it. It all went to another family. So she is trying to find where this will might be hidden. So the next step on the Create a Sim side was to buy a house and that category was to read a book or a contemporary set in our world and I decided to go with If I Stay by Gail Foreman. This is also a reread for me. This is my favorite book and it is also my favorite book to movie adaptation. I cry every time I read this and every time I watch the movie. I, if you couldn't tell, gave this five out of five stars. It is about a girl named Mia who is a cellist and her and her family are in a terrible car accident and she has to decide if she wants to stay or go. I decided to skip the renovate step and go straight down to live mode, which was an option to go from buy a house to live mode. The first step I decided to do in live mode was to get a job. I decided I wanted to go with Astronaut. My original book I was going to read was Nexus because the category was to read a book set in space. So I was going to go with Nexus by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings, but I never got around to that book. I had a book on Audible from the Audible Originals that was called Sovereign. I will try to enter a picture right here. If I can't, then I'm just going to try and get my sister to help me. But that book, it was only like three hours long, so I think I listened to it in one day. And I wasn't a huge fan of it. it. I don't even know if I could tell you exactly what was going on except for he was on a planet called Sovereign and he was away from his family. He was on a lifeboat rocket ship kind of thing and I ended up, I did end up giving it a three out of five stars. I did, I would like to know if there's going to be more in the series because the ending was pretty good but throughout the whole thing it was a little bit confusing. Next live mode category I decided to do was get a friend and that was just read a book featuring friendships and I decided to listen on Audible to the second book in the Serafina series called Serafina and the Twisted Staff. I will enter a picture right here and this one it's um, the second in the series if I didn't already say that. The first one is Serafina and the Black Cloak I think is what it's called and I read that one and I enjoyed it, but I decided I wanted to listen to the rest of the series, and it was a lot more fun to listen to than it was to read it. It is set it at the Biltmore Estate, which is a real place, and I'm still trying to picture what I think Serafina looks like in my head. So if you all have read or listened to this, just comment down below, tell me what you think Serafina looks like, because I can't picture it yet. There's all these descriptions about her, but the this starts off shortly after the first book ended and they are just going on something the animals are leaving um, Serafina used to be what she called the master rat catcher I believe and now the mice are trying to attack back so something's up with the animals and she wants to figure out what's going on to keep her family and friends safe I forgot to mention in that last clip that I did give this a four out of five stars I have not got the third one yet on Audible, but when I get another credit, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to be getting next, but I'm not sure. In the rest of my stack that I'm going to go through for my wrap up, there are three books that I read that are the last three books in the series that I have reread numerous times since childhood. 
They're not going to be in order. I'm going in order based on the categories, not the number of the book. But I did read them in order when I read them. It's just based on category. They're not going to be in the right order. Okay, so the next category in live mode is to get married. This is just to read a book with an established couple. I decided to go with Elsie's Tender Mercies. This is by Martha Finley. It's actually a re-released version of the Elsie Dinsmore series. It originally came out in the 1800s with like 28 books. I do have not most of, but under half of all of those. And so those are ones that I just keep at home. They're really valuable. They, um, not like money wise, but like to me they're valuable. And so I'm afraid they're gonna break if I take them out in public. But the re-released version of this series only has eight books. They're actually right here. You can't, they're the yellowy books right there. But I decided to go with Elsie's Tender Mercies for To Get Married because in this there is an established couple. Elsie and Edward are married. That might have been a spoiler if you haven't already read this. Um, this is a Life of Faith. It is a Christian book series. I originally started reading these when I was in middle school and I cannot tell you I've probably reread these books more than I have the Harry Potter books and that's just a personal preference to me I gave this book five out of five stars I'm not gonna tell you the synopsis because it is book seven in a series of course after getting married I decided to go with have a child this one is just to read a book that features a child this, I decided to go with book number eight in the Elsie Dinsmore series, Elsie's Great Hope. This one, um, pretty much from I think like book four or five on, it, they all feature a child. At the beginning of each book, it does give you um, a family tree at the beginning of each book. And in my head, even though this does say it features a child, in my head I kept going it features a baby. So in this book she does have baby Danny and it does say in the description that Daniel or Danny is a baby. So that's why I went with this one. This again was five out of five stars. They all get five out of five stars with me. I told you I reread them numerous times and so they just, I love them. So they get five out of five stars every time I read these. The next step in my Sims life was to change careers. This was actually um, had two prompts to it. The first one was to read a book out of your comfort zone. I picked another Audible original. I'm going to put the picture here. It is called Even Tree Nymphs Get the Blues. This one I was so confused. It wasn't until after I started and finished it in one day that it was actually 2.5. So it was a novella that happens after the second book in a series. So. I had no clue what was going on. I don't plan on going back and reading the first two books. I just needed something out of my comfort zone to read for this one. And this was a kind of fantasy adult kind of thing is what I'm getting from it and that's not stuff that I read. So that was part two. Part two was then to go back to the career um, page and to pick another one. And I decided to go with Painter, which is to read a book with a colorful cover. For that one, I decided to go with Mira Tidebreaker by Danielle Page. This one is so bright. It's a um, graphic novel, if you didn't already know, about Mira, who is from the Aquaman series, or Aquaman comics. And so I decided to go with this one because I knew it was going to be a quick read. And I was actually able to do this entire prompt, the listening to even Trina and Skip the Blues, and to read Mirror Tidebreaker in one day. So that one was, that was pretty, I thought I, I was pretty impressed with myself. I don't usually do that. So for this one, you're learning about Mira who wants to be a soldier. She wants, she doesn't want to be a princess in the pretty dresses. She wants to be able to fight for the cause and keep her people safe. So she goes on land because she's there to kill Aquaman and it just goes from there. I ended up giving this four out of five stars. I was pretty impressed. I did go see the movie and I enjoyed it. My mom and my sister thought it was kind of silly. I do get what they're saying, but I enjoyed it. So I was excited to read this book. So the next step in the live mode that I was going to do was to eat a cookie. Now, who agrees with me that cookies are wonderful? I decided to go with this one because this one was just to read a book under 200 pages. This is where I got the last of the three books 
but I needed to read an Elsie Dinsmore series. According to Goodreads, this book is 200 and some pages, but when you look in the book, it is only... I don't think you can read that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to adjust to it, but it's 177 pages. So it is under 200 pages long. This one is called Elsie's Troubled Times. It is book number six in the eight book series. Again, I'm not going to tell you the description because it is book number six, but again, like I said earlier, five out of five stars. The last category I was able to get to was Eat French Toast. This one was to read a travel book. Now, I picked Again But Better by Christine Riccio. And this one features two different types of travel. The first one, I'm not going to tell you the second one. The first one was she traveled to France, I believe. Anyway, this was, this is the Target version. I do have, they're right here. I do have the Barnes & Noble edition and I have an arc of it that I got at Y'all Fest back in November. Um, I ended up giving this book four out of five stars. It is about a girl named Shane who is going overseas for a, um, for educational purposes, I guess you could say. She's going over to take some classes, and she meets a guy there, of course. And things just don't go the way she thinks it will when they make it back to the United States. Um, I was quite surprised by this book. I have heard mixed reviews of this book, but I was very excited to read it. So, um, of course, it was the June book for the Young Adult Book Club at Barnes & Noble. Sad to say, I was the only one that showed up at my store's um, meeting, apart from, of course, the employee who was running it. So I, um, I am not reading the next book for the book club. Um, it's just not what I want. But this one I quite enjoyed and I had a pretty good discussion with her about it. So this was the last book. It really actually was one of the first ones that I read, but of course it's the last category in this book. So in this um, Sims-a-thon, there was an amount of points for each category that you could do. Off the top of my head, I think I maybe hit 32 points, but I'll put the number of points that I got out of how many points there were total. I'm pretty impressed with myself that I was able to read all these books for the, um, the month. I haven't had that good of a reading month since January. January is usually always my best month of the year because I'm trying to get it all out. And I did go through a reading slump for a little bit after that. So I'm glad that I was able to get back into reading this month and read this many books. I am actually 51 books into my goal of 60 for the year. So I'm, I'm excited to see what I can do in the month of July. Thanks for tuning in to another video. If you have any comments, questions, or requests, please leave them down below and I will try to get to them. I probably will. I don't get a lot. Bye!